Hey everyone and welcome to Reviews of Ryan and today on the channel I'm going to be talking about the brand new drama biopic film called Elvis. This film is directed by Baz Luhrmann and he's done films like Romeo and Juliet, Australia, and also The Great Gatsby. Before I get into my thoughts on this review, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, comment below your thoughts on this Elvis film, did you like this adaptation, and also turn the notification bell so you never miss any video that I make and I upload every week. And now without further ado, let's dive into my thoughts. Elvis follows the story of an infamous rock and roll star, Elvis Presley, seen through the eyes of his controversial manager, Tom Parker. The film explores Elvis Presley's highs and lows and the many challenges and controversies he received throughout his career. The film stars Tom Hanks, Austin Butler, Olivia de Jong, and many others. So going into Elvis, I really had some decent expectations for this film. I was just really hoping for a really good biopic. Because some of the biopics that I've seen lately, they've just been kind of okay. Or I haven't really liked them that much. And this film, it really centralizes on Tom Parker and his narration through this story and, and what is going on through Elvis's career in this. This is one of those films where it's not your typical biopic. And I really respected that they did that and just tried to do something a little bit different. The film is very dark, so don't go expecting this film to be really much sunshine and rainbows, as this is a really tough life for somebody growing up in the 60s. Especially, it's very prominent that religion was a big factor back in those days. So what Elvis had to experience going into this film and just throughout his life, it was just really extraordinary to really see on film. Starting with the positives of this film, it's got to be Austin Butler here. You know, I don't really have anything else to really compare him to with other people's performances of Elvis, but I thought he did a really good job here. I really think that he takes on this role as Elvis, and you really feel like at times that he really is the real Elvis. He really embodies this role, and I felt that his whole role in this film was very convincing and you know just him just growing up during these times you know, there's lots of different religion you know these women they are just obsessed with him and it's really funny watching this film and seeing these women just go crazy when he goes on stage and the dancing that he does he really made women happy back then and a lot of other people happy, but he also had his haters as well as a lot of men, you know, they had that jealousy that he was, you know, basically eye candy for these women. And, you know, the men didn't really see him as this guy on stage entertaining. They thought of him as more of like a sex symbol, you know, trying to take their wives away. So he really goes through a lot of issues throughout this film with all these women just you know, trying to get his affection. And, you know, he's also married in this too. So battling that with his wife and he has a child as well. So a lots of things that he's really battling throughout this film. And I have to give a shout out to the colors in this, how they made this film with the different colors, the different outfits and the different costumes. They really look on point and look very much realistic throughout this film. And then I also felt throughout this film, I love the women's hair in this. Can we go back to the 60s with women having hair like this? To me, it just looks incredibly sexy. Women, you know, having this kind of hair back then, I really like that and I really dug how women's hair were back then. So definitely have to give a shout out to that. And then of course, you know, the dancing and the music itself in this, it's really good. And shout out because Doja Cat has a song on this and I love Doja Cat. So I really did like that she was featured in this and I like that they really featured, you know, the old 60s vibe and they threw a little bit of hip hop in there. Some people may not like that. Maybe like the seniors may not like that. I happened to be sitting next to some seniors during the showing. They said that they really did like the hip hop that was incorporated into this with the new the old music as well. So that was really cool for somebody to be from that decade and that era to really appreciate the new kind of wave with the hip hop kind of culture that they have in this. And then add on that this is a film that really puts you on a journey to have a lot of different emotions. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll feel very upset with what's going on. You'll feel happy. You'll feel like you'll want to dance in your seat. I just love that the different roller coaster of emotions that this film can portray. And when a film is doing that, it's doing something right. So hats off to the director here 
on creating all these different moods for, you know, different emotions that you can feel throughout this film. And I felt all of that watching this film. And now we get into the negatives and the suggestions about this film. So I really didn't like Tom Hanks's accent throughout this entire film. I felt especially towards the beginning of the film, maybe the first like 30 to 45 minutes, it definitely took a little bit to get used to the accent. I felt at times he really was very much over the top and it was a little bit annoying, a little bit distracting there in the beginning of the film for me. I also didn't like the editing style, especially the first 30 minutes as well. It's very quick. The cuts are very sharp. They're very aggressive. I didn't really like that whole style of filming. I know when I watched The Great Gatsby, I wasn't really a fan of how he made that film either. So that was kind of my biggest worry going into this film is his stylistic choices. I think for some that's really going to be a turnoff for this film. It could be a make or break kind of thing. I don't necessarily think that it makes the film really particularly a really bad bad film but it is a little bit distracting there in the beginning of the film and of course with this film being a longer film it definitely has its slower moments and feelings where you just wanted to speed up a little bit i didn't feel like really bored throughout this film or anything like that but there were parts where i was like all right this is a little bit slow I do wish that Olivia did Jung. I wish that she got more screen time throughout this. I also wish that we got a little bit more interaction with Elvis' kid in this. We know that he has a kid in this, but we really don't know too much else. We just kind of see her towards the end of the film. And obviously we know that she's born and she exists, but really not much else. And then this doesn't really explore Elvis' younger life. You know, it's more so when he's getting into the younger adulthood of being Elvis and performing in a band and just his love for music. We don't really get a lot of his childhood. We learn a little about his mother and his father, but really not much else. They don't really touch too much on the childhood portion. And I could have also done without the narration in this film. We didn't need so much narration there. Apart from the film, I was like, all right, Tom Hanks, shut up. We don't need to hear your narration every single, you know, five seconds. So there are definitely some points where I wish they could have cut out a little bit of the narration. We didn't need to have that every five seconds. And then, of course, this isn't really a knock on the movie, but please, parents, do not bring your baby to a film. I mean, I've had worse situations with a baby, but I had this particular baby in the small theater, you know, he's making noises and, you know, the parents had to keep standing up and then going back down the stairs and patting the baby on the back and such. I mean, come on, folks, don't bring your baby to a film like this, especially a long film like this. I did have a little bit of screen trouble and the screen was like going black and certain portions where the screen was kind of messing up and yeah that wasn't the best so i definitely can't wait to at least kind of watch this film again and at least you know i didn't really necessarily miss any de decent parts but it really sucks when you have these malfunctions of the screen on here so that was a little bit of a negative experience there and how this whole viewing experience was for me but other than that i really thought that this film was a pretty solid film and a pretty good adaptation of elvis i would give a score of this film a four out of five I think that you guys should definitely check it out if you're on the fence of it or you don't know much about Elvis. I think this is a good introduction into Elvis and then, you know, you can learn a lot more about Elvis and learn about his songs and just the impact he had on rock and roll in general. So I really did enjoy this film. It definitely was a pretty good watch. Obviously it has some flaws like I mentioned, but I enjoyed it for the most part. But thank you guys for watching this review and I'll see you guys on my next review.